thank you for watching this quick little video. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick little, um, I don't know if you call it quite a review, but just a quick little hands-on. This is uh, the KNF Concepts KF112S. This is a fill light that you can use either for video or photography. Um, think of it kind of like studio lighting or something like that. Um, got a bunch of different power settings. It's adjustable in color temperature, so pretty uh, pretty versatile. And then I'm also going to show you a couple of light stands that they sell. So first, I just want to give you a quick little, I've actually opened this box before, give you a quick little rundown of what you get. So the light itself comes in this little pouch. That's what it looks like. Not too big and actually not heavy at all. So you can actually mount this directly to a camera if you wanted to. Um, battery slides in right there. And of course, all your functions are controlled back here. Um, I never even looked at the manual. It's actually pretty simple and self-explanatory. So don't think you need a manual, but if you need it, it's there. And then, like I said, I've already opened this um, the little charger. It doesn't include the cable, but you need either a USB-C or a micro USB to, uh, to be able to charge it. And that's the battery itself. Um, I don't know if you can get spares of these, but I'd imagine that if we look hard enough and we found a Sony MP F550 or... Um, compatible battery that it should work just fine for these lights other than that they do include let me show you this other one that's already open a little hand grip that can thread right onto the bottom of it you want to move it around do whatever you want to do with it um, other than that you also get a swivel mount which is going to come in very handy for once we set it up on a tripod a uh, little thread adapter depending on what kind of a stand or tripod you're using it on and It looks like a hot shoe accessory, so um, kind of redundant, but you could of course mount this here and just set it down on a table or something like that. Um, and then it's also threaded on the bottom. Not sure why, because this itself is threaded, but either way, that's included as well. So just get this kind of set up here. Just want to be able to tighten this down so obviously you want to make sure that you're able to control where you're tightening that and this little thumb wheel does perfect for that so that you can actually adjust it to the angles that you want so if we did that we can angle it front and back and we can always screw our little handle on there. Pop our battery right into the back of this. It just sits in there, slides in. And go ahead and turn that on. Now, clearly you can see that light is on. This is um, not as high as it goes. So it actually gets much brighter than you would think in color temperature. So these two buttons right here will control brightness. Those first two numbers are your brightness percentages. The last two numbers are your color temperature. So if you press that and that light is flashing right there, you can control your color temperature, go to a more yellow, or you can go up with that same button and go to a cooler white. It's adjustable from 2800 to 6000 K. So that's that. Um, yeah, pretty basic. It is extremely bright. I don't even know if I want to face this thing towards the camera, but yeah, she's bright. Um, I ended up with two of these. I decided that it only makes sense to have two lights so that you can kind of get adequate fill. And then what I did was I got a two pack of their light stands and I'm going to show you what those look like in just a second. 
So here are the two pack of the light stands that they that KNF Concepts sells. Um, there will be a link to it in the video description, but uh, pretty pretty solid actually. So these will just fold down, and there's your light stand. Um, obviously, you can actually if you hold this down. You can set it to different uh, different notches here, so you can get a little bit lower if you needed to. You can get a little bit higher, whatever you need to do. And I'll get a wider shot in just a second to show you um, just how wide or tall or whatever it gets. Uh, the cool thing is, though, is that with lights that are this lightweight. You can pretty much have it set up in the highest setting so that you can get the lights high enough and be able to um, get your light for you know overhead lighting or you know specific mood lighting, whatever you want to do. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get a wider shot and I'll show you a little bit more. So here you are, um, lowest setting in the different kinds of. Um, I'll just move this just a hair the different kinds of setup you can have it in. This right here is I would say roughly three, three and a half feet off the ground. Probably three and a half. Um, with the legs spread out like that, you can get as low as about two feet off the ground. Um, but now let's say you, you want to go higher. With it set up like this, of course, this does telescope up and We can get a good six and a half feet off the ground and all, you know, probably not any, uh, anything fancy for you to see up there, but either way, um, you could definitely get some overhead light with this. Comes with a nifty little, comes with a little carrying case, nothing special, just very basic carrying case, but it does carry both the light stands in there. Um, I wish they had more room for the lights themselves but it is what it is. Um, the light stands themselves are actually pretty well made and you know, everything feels nice and solid. These little guys are obviously super easy to use. Uh, when they lock, they actually do lock pretty, pretty well. And rubber feet on the bottom, of course, so they're non-slip. Not as stable as I would like in this setting, but um, with this setting right here, you know, dead stable. It just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to mount these lights to them, and we'll turn off the overhead lights, and we'll see just how much light we can get out of these things. All right, so I'm just recording my little 3D printer here going. Um, the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be moving around, turning lights on and off and all that. So um, right now, I just have overhead lights on. There's actually four bulbs in this room that are LED, so it, it's got enough, uh, it's got a pretty decent amount of ambient light. Um, with lights off, kind of pretty much darkness. So what I want to show you really quick is, this is with the room lights on, and I'm going to turn on our two KNF Concepts lights. So obviously not a huge difference with the uh, room lights on, but it is a little bit more, um, brings out a little bit more detail. With the room lights off, however, we can see that these lights by themselves are enough to record whatever you need to record. Um, color rendering is actually pretty excellent from what I can tell through, just through my camera. Um, and obviously if we wanted to, we could change color temperature and get a whole different effect. Um, Let's see if I can do that here. These things are kind of high up there, so it's kind of hard for me to even see what I'm doing, but uh, if you bear with me for just a second. What I'd like to do is, so you can clearly see the difference. And I mean, these lights are way higher than they need to be for the scene that they're illuminating. I can actually drop them down a little bit, maybe get a little bit more intensity out of them.
but yeah. So just go back to our nice yellow light. Um, yeah, there's actually a battery gauge on each one of these lights. If you press that mode button twice that I showed you earlier, um, you will get to the battery gauge. At full brightness, they're more than enough for a fill light. And what you're actually going to want to use these for is probably going to be more of just, you know, getting rid of the dark spots. So, for example, with our room light on and our lights facing away, we have a little bit of, nope, oh, a little bit of shadow. But uh, obviously, if we want to bring one of our KNF concept light in there, you'll get that little bit of fill that you need. And that'll be super important for shooting models and um, especially if you're going to be shooting something like YouTube videos or anything where you have a camera facing yourself. As you can see, um, let me get this thing adjusted a little bit. It does definitely help even out um, what you're looking at when you're using these lights. It gets you a nice little fill. Um, you don't have any dark spots or anything like that. It's especially important in photography to not have shadows where you don't want shadows. Um, videography, similar. It's going to keep your sharpness up. Um, you don't have your camera, whether it be a phone or a web camera, whatever it is, trying to compensate for low light conditions. So just a little bit of fill light helps in pretty much every situation. Uh, it's also nice for creating certain effects. Uh, if you wanted to emphasize a certain thing, a certain part, whatever you want to kind of darken your background, Obviously, you can have your camera um, compensated to the, the brighter object or whatever it is that you're trying to focus on. Um, I think a little project of mine is going to be to try to create little barn doors, snoots, or something like that to be able to control the light a little bit more and be able to use it for more effect type lighting, but um, shouldn't be too hard to do. They're, they're not too big of lights. They don't get warm at all, so um, I think they should be pretty versatile. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you're looking for some lighting, definitely check out KNF Concepts. They actually make some pretty quality stuff for some pretty cheap prices. Thanks for watching.